Hello friends, I am Prashant and welcome to my new blog. And today in this blog, I am gonna show you how I have made this hyper realistic land. And I am gonna show you practically and what kind of tool I have used, I will show you. Now I am going to use indenting technique. I will show you a little bit of the whole paper is already been indented mainly. Some of the areas were remain to indent it. So it's already been indented. You can use indenting tool. I will give the link where you need to buy indenting tool in my description box you can check mainly I will use in this portrait the charcoal pencil which was Camlin's charcoal I have used in my portrait as you can see in little bit of area I have used uh, graphite but I could avoid graphite easily and I have uh, used normal brush because I do not have now my blending brush so I have used the normal brush to blend a little bit mainly I have uh, not blended much because this kind of texture I should not blend it much when you are going to show this kind of texture where it will come out I could easily avoid graphite but 97% I have used uh, the charcoal pencil mainly but for the charcoal uh, you have to be very much careful because it spreads heavily so you have to be very much careful when you are gonna use any kind of charcoal as you can see some of the areas I have used graphite and I have used a uh, kneadable eraser so I'm just using normal cut and bud because I do not have now the blending brush that's why but blending brush uh, was really helpful I had a normal brush I have used in little bit of areas but I have used mostly the blending brush so this is the soft charcoal from which I am just uh, drawing the eye section mainly because it needs to be so dark actually and some of the areas I have used soft charcoal some of the areas I have used medium and hard charcoal so as per the reference you have to choose mainly as per the darkness the darkness of that reference picture as you can see some of the areas I have already been detailed so these areas mainly will be a bit of dark that's why I am just rubbing my pencil rubbing my charcoal pencil but these textures are coming out just because it was indented so guys you have to mind it when this kind of texture you are gonna draw you have to make all the portrait indented as per the reference mainly where the far where the hairs are going in that way you have to made it indented you have to make it indented with indenting tool or if you do not have an indenting tool you can use any kind of inkless pen so these things are very much important to get this kind of hyper realistic texture as you can see in the texture uh, mainly the texture of this nose and these sections mainly which I have already drawn the this section the far section mainly it's coming out just because of the indented because the paper is already been indented I am just detailing with the darkness I am just maintaining the balance of the darkness and the, and the white section mainly so I'm using Tombow to get highlight in these areas mainly. As you can see, uh, I'm just going for the detailing in this in this section. I'm just trying to maintain the balance between uh, darkness and the light section. So in this picture mainly, you have to mind it the indenting technique. It completely focused on indenting technique. How you have indented the pitta will come out in that way so when you're gonna uh, when uh, you will do any kind of indenting when you are applying indenting technique you need to mind it where you are going to apply the indenting way needs to be matched with the reference so that the texture will come out as per the reference it will match closely these are very much important and that's why I'm just using the the dark pencils mainly the dark uh, charcoal pencils just to get the highlights and where the lights are coming out or where the lights have uh, have fallen in 
in that section i am just uh, applying my eraser yes needable eraser is very much helpful you can get any kind of shape you can make any kind of shape with that eraser or else you need to have tombow to get the highlights to get the uh, hair uh, mainly the hair section of that lion mainly the far section of that lion to get much highlighted section so it really needs to have to get this kind of pictures mainly i will give where you need to buy i will give the link in my description box you can check it you can buy from that link if you want as you can see i am using tombow to get the highlighted far section to get the hair section mainly of the lion it will look really realistic if i use this eraser because only with a uh, needable eraser it's not possible so as you can see i'm just applying my uh, tombow and i have also used white gel pen to get such uh, hair which will look quite realistic which will give quite realistic touch so as you can see our picture is almost complete i have used that black background with charcoal but you have to mind it when you're applying charcoal you have to blend it with whatever you do have like uh, cotton buds or i will prefer the blending brush i do have uh, i had the normal brush i have applied normal brush and after that i have used cotton brush so you can do in that way if you do not have any blending brush but yeah blending brush is really very much helpful so you should uh, apply uh, for that uh, for that background with blending brush so with that charcoal because charcoal will spread out you have to be very much careful and i am going for detailing now you, uh, as you can see tombow i am using to get such far section so complete detailing i just want to make that's why i am using uh, as per the reference because it's uh, very much important when you are drawing with a reference you need to see in the in the last in the last part you need to see that the how the reference looks if there is anything remain to do need to be very much careful because you want to make your portrait realistic as it is as per your reference so this is very much important to look in the third stage in the final stage when you are going to do such portrait such hyper realistic portrait whatever it is so i believe you will like the video and i think the video will help you to get kind of lessons or will learn something I hope you will like you will response for the video if you like please do share and subscribe and if you are new in this channel press the bell icon here my portrait is ready i believe you will like my work if you like my work do subscribe and share if you are new in this channel do not forget to press the bell icon to get the future notification and support the channel